This is the part nobody shows. This is the part Alex doesn't even like showing. This is my favorite part. Everyone says, oh, it's so nice that you guys work on those nice cars. Look at You see Moose Man over there? A day and a half later with him he, hovering he, over us. He's been here for probably three days now. I'm gonna kill him. So just imagine having that guy watch over you for three days and having to freaking troubleshoot the car. But troubleshoot it now. It's good. It's making some power. Let's just keep that guy away. This car hopefully is gonna leave today. Oh, no, hopefully. It's leaving today. Everybody go shoot him a DM. Just tell him go home. The Would last you? picture that Austin Harmon posted, just go drop a buddy. Yeah, buddy, buddy, buddy. Just blow that thing up with buddy or a, a, if we can find a moose emoji. Moose emoji, all right? We can leave. Get out of here, Austin. to deal with his customer right there which is his friend I understand but Austin the worst <laughs> this should be his last pool still a stock motor and everything so should make like 15 15 10 maybe seems like it's working so I think I did my job right so let's go Customer, baby. Alex, did a good job. Even though you're sitting at home. I hope I don't have to see this car for like yeah, ever yeah, after yeah. this. Yeah. Coming in, yeah. Flex. I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again, yeah. We got Ferrari the storage kit in for his SQO. Look at how beautiful this thing came out. This is like a cherry red. It's got like some flakes on it. So sick. The detail today is just insane, you know? Look at this. So anyways, we'll pop out a photo of the full kit here. And that's a full kit. Obviously, I'm not gonna set everything up for the video. You know, you guys get the picture, you guys get the idea. Look at that. Same color as dinner coolers. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. This car is gonna be scary. What the? Mr. Uh, vlogger over there. Oh, wait, 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 cut. Let me do that again. Oh, yeah, Mr. Vlogger. <laughs> really? So I was gone most of the day while these gentlemen were performing activities and I had to work mobily. Um, we made it for the last hour of the day, but this guy got his gone. You found your elephant? Wow. Come on, big head, let's ride. You wanna go on a ride with Uncle Nick? Hey, you wanna go on the bike? No. You wanna ride it with Uncle Nick? No. So today, we're having a yard job. Not right here, not right now, but we're setting it up. Hey, first come for a serve. If someone shows up from the vlog that doesn't drop today, I'd be very impressed. Today, but you say today for when the vlog drops. Ah. Uh, so, throughout the years, we've accumulated a lot, a lot of parts. And we figure since Johnny doesn't like to really, Johnny doesn't really do anything besides take four pictures a day and edit one picture for two hours. Wrong camera, guy. Where did we find him again? We found probably eight to ten aftermarket exhausts for R8 and Huracan that Johnny's cleaning up, and then we're gonna take a pictures of all items, and then I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna either throw them on eBay or throw them on our website and have like a for sale like used parts, and then link it to Instagram. We don't know what we're gonna do, but if you're watching this video and you got an R8 or Huracan and want the better sound, but don't want can't do twin turbos yet. Check out the website. Because by the time this video drops, it'll be on the website. Or just DM us. Or DM us. Our yeah. tags are here. You can ask us and questions. So we have like we have multiple fab speed valves exhaust systems. We have a couple titanium non-valves. 
a soul two-piece thing, a no-name stainless non-valve. Slide, titanium, makes loud noises. This was originally built by Brandon at B-Road. I mean, it was on that car a year before we started messing with Damon, and that was in what? So this was made in 2017 by Brandon at B-Road. Um, I don't know how I did my shop. It's a titanium center exit. It makes a lot of noises. It has to be bumperless. Why do we have that? Because that car's turbo. Speaking of, catching a lot of heat about that car. Again? A giveaway. Oh. Uh, Everybody wants a tire slayer, huh? This guy's been hard at work at some crazy sheep NFTs. That's right, there's a hint. True. NFTs will be involved into this giveaway, that's why it's taking longer. Not just buy five shirts and get 1,000 points. And if you buy a shirt today, you get an extra five times the points. Doesn't this sound so generic? We literally made 7,000 images, so it takes a little while. 7,000 different NFTs. So if all you guys think that this guy just not doing shit with this giveaway. Whoa, 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 who said this? <laughs> I'll fight you. Hey, they on your ass, boy. Yeah, they no, I found a couple comments like, oh, so much for that giveaway. It's like, are you guys ever going to give away the tire show? It's all hype. I'm like, these guys have been working on it. We're just trying to make it like unique and cool and different, right? I actually have a set of factory SVA, SVJ bronze wheels with tires. Probably have a thousand miles on the tires. Any of you guys have a center lock, a Ventador that want SVJ bronze wheels? Slide in my Sheepy Race DM. Not in my personal DM. Because personal DM is a personal account. This motherfucker talks so he knows what he's talking about. This is my first rodeo. Been to a rodeo with your hair looking like that. They won't even let you in the rodeo with the fuck. Hair. I'm from Virginia. Oh, Southern Virginia tattoo. That's a Maryland. That's where I was born. <laughs> God, you're all screwed up in that. What's wrong with you? Born in Maryland. Danny P's car came in for a little bit of a oil change, but it happened to all come apart. Keep going on the dyno, make a quick little 1700. But, uh, I wanna go over something with you guys really quick. Actually, lovely social media. So let me tell you something. If anybody ever builds you a 1400 horsepower car, make sure you have what? Tires. What kind of tires? Radials. Why do you want radials? So this doesn't happen to you. So let's explain what Don't happened. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. <laughs> I can build you a very high horsepower car, but my the objective is to make sure that the car stays as straight as it can and does not do no funky stuff and put you in the wall. So clearly, um, traction control is only used to not, traction control doesn't make you faster. Actually, if you, traction control is enabling, making you slower. It's there to cover you in case you overpower the tire. So in that video that Nick showed you, the car was in high power, however, is on a factory set of rims and tires. So it was in TC probably the whole time. So when you're in TC, it's doing a torque reduction. When it's doing a torque reduction, it's closing the throttle. So please don't do that to me. To your boy, come on. Now I gotta go in there and tell him to come race a real 1400 horse, not, not a real, a, don't a car on a tire. Well, no, I mean, without having the right tire. A thousand, yeah, you gotta make more, you gotta make more north of a thousand. But you gotta make sure you have the right tire. So anytime you guys build a Mustang or a GTR or any kind of car, make sure you have the right tire that accommodates to your car. If you do not have the right tire that accommodates to the car, do not try to go after the fast guys, because the fast guys want to just blast on us and say, look at I beat a sheepy car. Anyways, enough spotlight to the bike. Let's go. Look at that. All you guys could walk in here and buy any of these cars. Turn key, ready to go. And tell me that is not cool. That all happened due to this lovely team and staff that we have here. Oh, everybody that has helped get this company to a point where it's just, it's a brand. I mean, I got people putting the angry tattoos on themselves. So I'll show you one of the guys that put on his leg here. And then our other friend, Cody, Pierce, which is a ride or die sheepy guy, just got it on his hand here. It's, uh, it's very rewarding to know that we're just not some average car shop, we're a brand. And coming down to that, I want to be able to share that more with everybody. Um, you know, 
Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, I am in go, go, go mood, right? These vlogs, you guys don't see them that much because it takes me the right attitude, the right mindset to do than stand behind a camera. 80% of the time, I am stressed out and trying to problem solve with this little angry, he's platinum hair today. Um, but we want to give back more to the community and our big following and we want people to get to experience what our brand's about. So, what Alfredo and I are gonna do this week is, you see this big area? So this area is probably, I don't know, 600 square feet? Nah, 500. I don't know, I suck at math. But this whole area is gonna be a retail store. So we've already started looking at some designs and this whole thing is gonna be a retail store with every merch item you can think about. We're gonna make custom merch that you can only buy here. Our figurines, we'll have them for sale multiple sizes. Shit, you can buy that too. I actually have a second one being made for 458 Destroyer's new garage. That fool's garage is so sick. Look at the picture here. Um, so yeah, so what we wanna do is offer in a, for you guys to be able to experience if you guys are in town or day off, and wanna just stop by, buy some merch and check out some cars. You'll be able to see everything in the showroom, have a retail store, buy some merch. However, you cannot come in here just to look around. You will be forced to buy something. I actually can't force you to do it, but don't waste your boy's time. Anyways, till the next time. I love you guys. See you guys later.